Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? I've noticed that when people promise you the world, they often just give you dirt. But not God. So this is Paul Luna. I am live on Facebook right now. Today is Wednesday, and here's the Bible thought of the day. For something to kick around, think about. And that is, I'm reading through Deuteronomy right now. In fact, I just started the book, and I'm on Deuteronomy 8. And I was thinking, what is what does this say right here? I thought this was important. This is from Deuteronomy 8. And this is what God is saying to Moses. See, I have given you this land. Go in, take possession of the land that the Lord swore he will give you um, give you of your fathers to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to the descendants after them. So here's what got me thinking. Moses is living hundreds of years after Abraham, but God remembered the promises that he had gave Moses' ancestors, and that he was going to give the promised land to his descendants, to Abraham's descendants. And finally, after hundreds of years, God is keeping his promises. He said, I'm going to give this land to your descendants, and here it is. Now you're going to see this happen. And I started thinking about, how often does God say this in the book of Deuteronomy? And I counted out 23 different times. God goes back to Moses and says, look, you're going to get this land just as I promised, and he goes back to that promise 23 different times. He references and says, look, just like I promised Abraham, you will get this land. And then later on, he goes, just like I promised Abraham, you'll get this land. So 23 different times, God reminds Moses, I'm going to keep my promise. So what about us? Does God have any promises towards us that he promises to keep? And the truth is, yes. There's a lot of things that God promises us and that, that he'll keep different promises. One of the promises that he'll keep, it comes from 1 John 1, 9. And that is anyone who sins, he promises if they call upon him, he will purify them. And then um, John 4, 7, anybody who submits to God and resists the devil, the devil will flee. Uh, John 1, 5, whoever asks God for wisdom... God will give them wisdom. And then the one that most all of us know is that anyone who calls upon the Lord and wants to be saved from John 3.16, they will not perish and go to hell, but they'll have eternal life. So there's promise after promise that God gives us in Scripture. So here's my encouragement for you. I want you to go ahead and go through Scripture. And I want you to start looking for His promises. Now, you could cheat, because uh, why not? Go ahead and go on the Internet and say, what promises does God give us? Type that into Google. What promises does God make? And then start looking at all the different promises that God promised you. Okay, some of them are specific to uh, people that lived in the past, like the Israelites. A lot of the Old Testament prophecies, promises were uh, directly directed towards them. But a lot of the promises in Scripture, especially in the New Testament, are directed towards you. So if you want to find out what God promised that He'll do in your life, go and check out Scripture. And uh, he will lead you. All right, so we have a promise keeping God. I encourage you to have a relationship with him. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.